Hey YouTube, here's another fun idea for you. This was super simple. Anybody could make this one. What I did was I made a dock for my kids' boats. So they have a, the boat can come up along the side here. They can use a piece of rope and tie up to the cleats here to tie your boat up and, and moor it for the night. You have a, an area over here where you can work on boats. It's a little boat ramp. Here's the dock house. And this guy's going to come out for five bucks and fill up your boat with fuel and fix it up. Just kidding. But anyway, let me show you what I built here. This is how they would play with that, okay? Here you have your boats. Let me take this stuff off. What I did was I took a standard piece of plank wood. Okay, whatever size you want, you take the measurement. I took a bird feeder. I got this bird feeder at Menards Hardware Stores. And the bird feeder... Um, where's the top for that? There it is. There you are. Sorry. Oh, oh sorry, buddy. No, here you go. This was the bottom for it. It was mounted to this rock-looking base. I unscrewed it from the base and then cut out the door frame here with a Dremel, bolted the house to the wood, took a measurement with some um, what is that? Three quarter inch or one inch pieces of, um, strip pieces of wood. And I put one, two, three, four, five pieces of wood to hold it up in the air. I use wing nuts as the cleats to hold the rope on. Let me zoom in and show you a little bit here. I use the wing nuts. Here's the house. Here's the boat ramp. These boat ramp pieces of wood here, these are paint stirrers. Once I screwed them down on this side, I put three nuts, um, just metal nuts, I think three quarter or half inch nuts, and a bolt that goes right through top to bottom. So I got the right angle to for the boat. And then when they're ready, they could push the boat right in the water. This was originally designed to be used in the bathtub. When I made this, this sat, this was designed with the width to sit in the back of the bathtub around the outer lip and then they could put their toys up here to keep them out of the bottom of the bathtub so there was dual purpose when i made this toy this toy was to help clean up the bathtub and make it easier to take a shower and not be filled with boats and men and things so when i put all the boats up here it made it easier well we moved to a new house and this didn't fit and i said you know what we'll just put it in the bedroom to play with it anyway so as you can see everything got mounted with l brackets here so I didn't have to put screws in the front. You won't see it. So I used L brackets underneath. And where the screws came through in the bottom, I just put some duct tape. So I don't want them hitting their hands on the screws and hurting their hands there in a couple places. And I didn't want any rust on these bolts down here because it was in the water. So, and as you can see, the tape came off of this one and it ended up getting rusty anyway. But if you're going to build something like this for your house, there is a cool dock for your kids. The house at Menards was, I think it was on sale for $10, the bird feeder. I cut the bottom off opened the door frame, bolted this to the wood, and now you can have visitors all day long and the boats can come in and unload, and you can work on your boats and unload all the treasure you found. So I hope this gives you some good ideas. Thank you, buddy. I hope this gives you some good ideas and helps you to come up with your own toys, your own ideas, and your own creativity to teach your children how to be creative and fun and outgoing when they're playing with their toys. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.